Hi guys, I am back today with a new video and today is a Sunday and I have just come back from being in town and had a look at the shops and things and I wanted to make a extra special video today and it's going to be titled what it's like to have cancer I'm just gonna kind of give you guys an insight into what my life is like having cancer um, I'm gonna start off with what happens when I wake up every morning so I wake up and first of all I say thank you because I'm still alive for another day Live, living with cancer and having cancer is like living on a knife edge uh, just in a split second it could all go wrong the tumours could start growing like horrific things that's why I'm sort of struggling to like say this because it's all still extremely possible uh, even in my case when I've been doing so well it's just horrific because even though you you've you're trying to deal with daily life anyway and then having cancer on top of it makes it so so difficult and as I said, you're living on a knife edge. You you don't know if things could turn for the worst. I could potentially, if my tumours started to grow, I could be dead in two weeks. If I, it's 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 just so difficult for someone who maybe hasn't ever had cancer in their family or who hasn't really been that close to home with cancer. I just kind of wanted to let people know because I felt it was quite important for my YouTube channel to have a video like this because this is kind of a massive insight into my life and I also wanted to share with you some of the struggles that I have which is extremely frustrating. Um, so, as I said, obviously, having cancer, you are you don't feel normal, but also certain things make you not normal. And um, the first one I'm going to mention is, if you want to go on holiday to, like, have a break from everything, from your cancer or actually any illness in general, you will know that insurance costs a hell of a lot of money. And I recently wanted to go away with uh, my boyfriend and we were planning to go away to the um, USA to go and go to uh, Disney World and uh, we had to change that over now to Disneyland Paris just purely because it would cost so much money it would be quite a risky thing to do anyway that far away from home but that was so frustrating and we've planned, sorry that was the cat, and we've planned to go away to Disney at some point and luckily we won't need any insurance for it because it's only for a few days but that was another thing, just even going to Paris we were worried about that because in case something went wrong and so that's one of the major annoying things is that you can't even, even if you want to go on a relaxing break to even plan that relaxing break, it's extremely frustrating and expensive. So that's the first thing. And then I would have to say the second thing about having cancer or having an illness is you can't take any risks and you have to be practical all the time. You can't really have that much fun carelessly. You, you, your mind is, you always have this mindset that you need to be sensible and um, that becomes extremely frustrating especially for someone my age you know young wild and free it's um it's really really difficult and um I don't really know where I'm going with this video but I just as I said I just felt that it was appropriate to possibly make a video that's you know this is my life um, it's just, it's so, 
difficult on a daily basis living with cancer and some days it will hit you really hard and um you know you have your good days and your bad days like any other normal human being but sometimes you just say to yourself why why can't I just be normal for even just a couple of minutes and it's not just me, it's my family as well, you know. It's always on their mind, 24-7, the minute they wake up, the cancer's there, the same as in my mind. It's, um, it's extremely difficult and I just wanted to be quite sort of candid with you all and um, really open up to the camera and... Um, yeah, it's just pretty rubbish, but I'm still here, and I'm still fighting daily, and I don't think I'm going to go anywhere very soon, but I just wanted to make this video, I think because I needed to have a bit of a rant really myself, but I hope that you know, this may have given you a bit of an insight into my life, um, I don't know, but thank you for watching anyway, and if you have any questions about my cancer, or, well, any questions at all, uh, please feel free to ask me, and I'm sure that I can answer them, so thank you again for, uh, watching my videos, and I hope to see you guys soon, bye.